Good morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is February 15th, 2018. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. I have a, an extremely important report that I need everyone to go ahead and share as much as possible. We need to get this out there on social media. This is extremely serious. Um, on Fox Business at uh, foxbusiness.com and in many, many, many other places, uh, there are reports coming out uh, just a few hours ago that the IRS is putting everyone on notification that uh, thieves are stealing very large tax returns. Now, because we are a channel that handles public service announcements and any kind of fraud or scams that are out there, I did make a call to the IRS. I'm going to go ahead and read you uh, this article as it is very short and it does give a good description of the two ways that it started happening that they're seeing there is now a third way and I want to make sure everyone is aware of that so here we go the Internal Revenue Service issued a warning to taxpayers to beware of erroneous refunds according to the agency there's been an emerging scam where refunds are wrongly being deposited into taxpayer accounts thieves use victims real information to file a fake return have the refund deposited into the taxpayer's real bank accounts and then use various tactics to steal the cash. The number of victims has jumped from a few hundred into several thousand in just a few days, according to the agency. The increase in activity comes shortly after the IRS discovered that a large number of clients' data was stolen from tax professional computer files. How to detect the scam? There are two versions of the scam thieves are using to collect the fraudulent refund from taxpayers. One involves criminals calling taxpayers acting as IRS sanctioned debt collection agency officials to tell them the refund was made mistakenly and deposited and asking them to forward the money to their collection agency. Uh, now, the other feature is an automated call saying that the taxpayer is in danger of being charged with a criminal fraud or a crime of some sort unless they return the refund. You are at risk of fraud, of fraud when you file. You receive a bounce back notification from the IRS that your social security number is already associated with a return. This indicates someone else has filed using your information. The IRS is advising taxpayers to follow its established protocol for returning erroneous refunds instead of making any other in, uh, uh, making any other instruction. The agency says individuals should also contact their tech, tax professionals and financial institutions because bank accounts could be impacted. Okay, now as I said, I did go ahead and actually make a phone call and speak to someone in the security department of the IRS in um, Austin, Texas. And what I found out from them is quite alarming. First of all, let me say that there have been apparently a group, a large group of individuals that have been providing tax uh, forms, some for a cost, some free of charge. Um, apparently what they are doing is they are largely giving out very specific forms. Some of those forms include but are not limited to the following forms. 1099A, B, I, N, T, 1099O, I, D. Form number 2848, form number 1096, and form number 56F. Now, I do want to show you a couple of these forms and what they look like, and I want to go over with you what they actually mean and the reason why this crime is actually working out for the criminals at the moment. What you are looking at right now is called a form number 2848. It is a power of attorney and declaration of representative. The reason that this form is used, I'm going to give you an example, is when you actually go in to, to uh, for example, an H&R block, it is absolutely necessary in order for you to agree to allow someone to file your taxes who is a licensed tax preparer for them to have a power of attorney or declaration of representative 
representative, especially in the event that you are going to purchase their warranty information in case you were audited. That individual needs to be allowed to speak to the IRS in case there's some sort of a misunderstanding or some kind of an error in their um, in their figures, they need to be able to uh, speak to them on your behalf. Um, the secondary form that is really important here that I need to talk to you about is form number 56F. Here is a picture of a Form 56F. Uh, Form 56F is the Notice Concerning Fiduciary Relationship. Now, the reason that this is important is because if you're dealing with any kind of an estate or any kind of a guardianship or conservator to trust, um, anytime you're dealing with fin finances of any sort, for example, if you were to go to H&R Block, they would have to have you sign one of these. The reason behind that is because if you file for a rapid refund, H&R is H&R Block is going to send in your tax return that they have done. It's going to electronically be verified within generally a 48-hour period by the IRS. As soon as H&R Block receives that verification that it's on its way, they are going to fund you through your, from their bank account to your bank account. This form that you're looking at right here actually allows them to accept your real tax refund that they've already given you on a credit basis. The actual tax refund then gets sent to H&R Block so that they are paid back for what they have already provided to you. At that point, everything is closed out and everybody's free to move on. However, in this case, what people are finding or what the IRS has, is saying people are finding is that this form is being is already filled out by, by who they are considering to be um, either a tax preparer or a consultant of some sort that is actually sending these um, packages out to people. And what is happening is people are signing the forms, including them in with their tax returns. The tax returns are then, of course, sent to the IRS so that you will receive your refund. But instead of you receiving your refund, the person who has already filled out the portion of this Form 56F has already um, got approval to accept your refund, even though they haven't given you your refund in the first place. So in that case, the IRS is automatically going to credit the account that is on the notice concerning fiduciary relationship, meaning that the thief who sold you the package gets your tax return and you agreed to it without realizing it. I wanted to make sure that this goes up. I will go into more detail as I find out more. Um, this is the third way that I have been told that uh, people are getting their tax returns stolen from them. Um, there are several thousand that have already been stolen and we are looking at the possibility of there being thousands and thousands more if this does not um, get spread around. So please, everyone, get on your social network, make sure your family knows and sees this video, um, you know, especially with regards to this third part that is not actually in the article yet. Um, this form is very, very dangerous, folks. If you are not sitting in front of your tax preparer, if it is provided to you by some outside party, do not sign it without speaking to a tax attorney first. Um, make sure that your tax preparer is licensed through the IRS. Make sure that you know that that tax preparer is trustworthy because if you sign this form and you give authorization and power of attorney, you are signing away your tax refund. So in that case, it could take you a very long time, if ever, to recover any of those funds, uh, even going back through the IRS or filing fraud charges. So let's everybody please like, share, and subscribe so that we can get this word out. It's very urgent and very important. Anybody that you see online, hear of, on the street, do not sign any tax forms that are already partially filled out unless you are sitting literally within an actual tax office, you know your CPA or the tax preparer sitting in front of you, and you know that you're going to be receiving the funds through rapid refund um, 
from that entity. You know that you've used them before. You've got people in your family that have used them. This is very concerning. A lot of people are falling for it. Wanted to make sure I get this out here right away. For those of you that have questions, please put them in the comments, or you can email me at virgotriad at protonmail.com. Uh, anybody who is concerned, I do have an 800 number to be able to get in touch with the IRS should you um, uh, feel that you have possibly already maybe made a decision that wasn't a good one uh, so that that way you can call them and possibly get a stop or a hold put on everything to ensure that you are safe and no one is going to steal from you. Um, everybody have a great day. Sorry to bring you some bad news, but again, very important. Um, and please make sure you get this out there, guys. Thank you.